my video for March the uh, 8th, 2020 is video number 3,389. <clears throat> What's in my throat? <laughs> anyway, the title is God Supports the Evil System of Victimhood. As I've said many times on my videos, <clears throat> I read the Bible through every year for 20 plus years. I was taught that we are never supposed to question God. That sounds crazy to me now. I am questioning God all the time. I pray for God every day, along with a list of friends and relatives. Like Bible reading was, prayer is part of my daily routine. My prayers are generally ignored. Maybe God is mad at me. Or perhaps there is no God at all, at least what I thought God is or was. Here's an example of some of the insanity from the Bible. Matthew 5, 38 to 40, King James Version. 38, you have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. 39, but I say unto you that you resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. 40. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Hmm. Perhaps God likes money changers, attorneys, and other legal criminals that violate human rights all the time. To me, the system is just plain evil. Are we voluntary victims? Did we acquiesce? Or are we just plain stupid? <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, my video went, uh, that I did for today, and of course I'm recording this on the, on the 7th or the 8th, uh, it went up with no problem. Uh, unlike yesterday's video that an hour and a half after I started, I was still trying to get the, a, a video uploaded and YouTube was giving me all sorts of problems. But anyway, it worked the way it's supposed to work today. I have no idea what was going on and what triggered the events from yesterday's uh, upload. But uh, as I said, it, it's working fine today. But I wrote down that ver those verses from the Bible, uh, uh, you know, over a day ago. I, I thought, I want to look at this again, and I want to talk about that. That was something on my to-do list of a, for, for a future video. And so I'm bringing that to you, and I'm, re I'm restating my commitment to questioning God, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> you know, it obviously nothing changed by 2012, which I thought was sort of the line in the sand. Everything was going to change by then at the latest, and I actually thought it was going to be 2011, which is when I started making my daily videos in January 2011. But it came and went, and 2012 came and went, and Obama did not turn out to be, I mean, perhaps he's the worst of all the presidents. Uh, I mean, he, I posted, did I, did I make the video on that? I, I, <laughs> I mean, Obama, Trump has taken back a lot of the insanity of, Obama living living off the dole of the government dole, but then again, most politicians live off the gov government dole. How can people that that only earn at the most a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, how can they become multimillionaires? Well, it's because of graft and and corruption in high places, and this has been going on for a long time, and apparently. It's being supported by God, right? Uh, isn't the Pope a, a, a person who is put in charge of God's kingdom on earth? Aren't the kings and queens of England and other countries royalty? Are they not 
God anointed people? Aren't we, aren't we supposed to honor them? I mean, that's what the Bible teaches. Oh, but you say, aren't they criminals? Well, then I guess we are supposed to just accept the criminality because obvious to those of us that are paying attention, most of these people in high places are notorious liars, except they cover up their lies. They deceive us with platitudes and nice sounding words, but behind the scenes they're raping children and maybe even killing them and drinking their blood because they think they get some kind of a, of empowerment or some kind of rush or who, who, who the heck knows? I don't think like that. I can't think like that. I don't understand it. And I don't understand why apparently our creator allows that kind of activity to exist unpunished, not just an occasional uh, happening like that, but something that happens generation after generation after generation, going back who knows how many thousands of years, perhaps. We live on a planet, as I keep on saying, that seems to be nothing more than an insane asylum. And the most insane are the ones put in charge. Now, tell me, tell me how that makes sense. Tell me that why I'm not supposed to recognize it as being victimized. They say, Ron, you're playing a victim. You're playing a victim. Stop thinking like that. Make positive affirmations. Don't make negative affirmations. You're affirming the fact that you're a victim. Well, I guess I am. I guess when they stole my house that didn't even have a mortgage on it, I guess I was supposed to give them my car too. Then I wouldn't have any way to even get around. And it would have been a hard decision to, to make to choose to stay alive. At least with my car, I'm able to get from place to place. And I don't have to wait for a, a friend to give me a ride or some kind of public transportation or whatever. I don't live on a farm where I can be like the Amish people and use horses, horse-drawn carriages and stuff. I mean, that's not the culture that I live in, nor do I want to. I like some of the advancements that have been made and the ingenuity of inventions, but most of the inventions are used against humanity, not for humanity. I mean, our cars could be operated without gasoline and lots of technologies have been withheld because they're not profitable to the evil ones that run the system. It's criminal insanity. There's no question about it in my mind. And the corporation of human beings, the incorporation of human beings is part of the scheme that has enslaved us for a very long time. It's the modern version, but it's the same sick game. Will a loving God ever start loving? <laughs> And I know that's an oxymoron, isn't it? Well, how could a loving God stop loving? But obviously, God did. And we look at the world around us and see the inequality and the criminality in high places. It's coming to the forefront so that perhaps we can make a change. Thanks for listening. Namaste.